Now then, the time has come to try my very first homebrew. So, um, just a recap on the homebrew story. Um, my brother bought me the uh, Brewdog IPA homebrew kit for Christmas. Um, I brewed it up, I bottled it up, I followed the instructions to the letter. So now what I've got is I've got a bottle of Punk IPA I bought from the shops to see what it's like against my beer, see if my beer's actually any good compared to the genuine article. And then we've got my beer. The beer I bottled up a couple of weeks ago, made a snazzy label for, because I'm cool and I like making snazzy labels. So yeah, first thing to note, I have got the percentage wrong on the label. It's not 5.9, it's 5.6, but that's just a guess. I didn't take any kind of gravity reading at the start because I didn't have a hydrometer. The kit said I didn't need one, so I didn't have one. But here we are. We're going to try both these beers side by side in the same style glass to see if the kit beer is actually anything like the real thing. So we'll start with the real genuine article. Oh, straight away you get that hop aroma and I think it's the Amarillo hops or at least that's what the Amarillo hops smelt like when I got them out of the bag when I was brewing so hopefully mine will smell similar let's give it a bash I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of hiss and it's carbonated okay oh yeah look at that Steam and everything. Steam smoke, I don't know what it is. Well, it's the same smell. It's not quite as pronounced as the um, Punk IPA, but it's the same hop aroma. It's just softened and not quite as pungent. Let's see how they pour. It's the classic, classic brew dog beer. Lovely straw colour. Crystal clear. Lovely beer. Now, as I've been talking, my beer's been bubbling away. Look at that. I probably overcarbonated that. Let's give it a pour, get it in a glass before it goes crazy. So lovely meringue head on that. Now, it's the same sort of colour, it's nowhere near as clear, it's very murky in comparison to the genuine article. Let's see how they both smell. Yeah, so here they are side by side, as you can see. One is crystal clear, and that's the professionally done one. One's a little bit murky, and that's my one. Well, let's see how they taste. Punk IPA is a good solid IPA. It's got a fantastic bitter finish. Mmm, and a very almost mangoey, fruity taste as well to it. Lovely, lovely beer. So let's see how the uh, kit beer compares.
obviously mine's a lot more carbonated you can tell straight away with the mouth feel on that how much more carbonated it is it's basically muted it's a very muted version of the real thing but the flavors are all there the hop bitter finish that's there just not as strong the mangoey fruity flavors they're also there but they're not as strong so basically what i have is an inferior ipa or an inferior punk ipa because i brewed it at home but i've got to say i'm very impressed with this it is my first ever home brew and i've actually brewed a drinkable beer it's very drinkable it's not, no off flavors good carbonation if it's slightly over good hop characteristics good beer i mean it's not as good as a punk ipa but i don't mind it's still really good and i think the kit is a great way to introduce people to easy home grain brewing and it's because of this beer that i've gone on and done another beer and i think i'm going to do even more beer so it's completely opened the door to me to become a home brewer and i'm really impressed hmm good so that is the side-by-side -side comparison of the homebrew punk ipa against a genuine punk ipa hope it's been informative um please leave any comments and questions you have down below also follow me on twitter look at the blog check out the facebook page if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and give it the old thumbs up and that's really going to help me out boost me up then their google rankings so i've got more brewing videos coming up um we're going to i'm going to bottle my smash in a couple of days and i'll probably do another brew fairly soon and i'll get that all recorded i'll also film videos from time to time with various beery thoughts so thanks guys thanks for checking me out